Napoleon Bonaparte, born Napoleon di Buonaparte. The 15th of August 1769, the 5th of May 1821, was a French military and political leader who rose to prominence during the French Revolution and led several successful campaigns during the Revolutionary Wars. Napoleon was born on the 15th of August 1769 from Carla Maria di Buonaparte and Maria Tizi Romolino in Egesilla, that capital of Coca, which had only become a part of France a year earlier. He was born Napoleon di Buonaparte, but he changed it to the more French-sounding name, Napoleon Bonaparte, to distinguish himself as French, a quality of which he was very proud, despite being from a family of Italian origin. Napoleon's father was a member of Louis XIV's court. As such this provided Napoleon with a moderately affluent background which afforded him greater opportunities than those of the typical Kesukan. In May 1779, Napoleon was admitted into the prestigious military academy of Brian Le Chateau, which was a marked achievement considering that he was one of the first Kesukans to do so. The road was not paved to him however, as French was only his second language he was often bullied and harassed by his fellow classmates and despite how we know him today, he was low ranked in his class. As soon as he completed school at Brian Le Chateau in 1784, Napoleon joined the École Militaire, an elite school of higher military education. This greatly increased his reputation, and upon graduation in September 1785, Napoleon became commissioned as a second lieutenant in La Fia, otherwise known as the 1st Artillery Regiment. Thus began Napoleon's long and successful career in warfare. On the 15th of July 1801, Napoleon made an agreement with Pope Pius VII, known as the Concordat of 1801. It sought reconciliation between the Catholic Church and the revolutionaries who had previously stripped them of their power. It also solidified the Roman Catholic Church as the Church of France. Civil status restored much power to papacy however, thus making church-state relations favor Napoleon. On Sunday the 2nd of December 1804 Napoleon crowned himself Emperor of the modern French Empire. He wanted to establish the legitimacy of his imperial reign. With this, it ushered in the new royal family and the new nobility. Napoleon was now in charge of France and thus would begin his campaign of making France a world power. The French Civil Code was established under Napoleon in 1804. The code forbade privileges or positions based on birth or financial status, thus establishing a meritocracy. It allowed new freedoms of religions. The French Civil Code was significant because it was the first universal code of law established in France since feudal Europe and one of the few documents that have influenced the world. It was also the first modern legal code to be adopted with a pan-European scope. In summary, the French Civil Code was important to the society of French social class. The War of the Second Coalition was a second war on revolutionary France. The sides were the Holy Roman Empire, Britain, Russia, Portugal, and the Ottoman Empire versus France, Spain, and Denmark, Norway. It was doing well in 1799, however Russia later pulled out of the conflict in Europe. Napoleon then proceeded to take power and dominate every other country in the coalition. The Treaty of La Neville in 1801 confirmed not only the victory of France but also that previous territorial acquisitions and it also gave the French lands in Tuscany, Italy. Following this was the War of the Third Coalition. It consisted of an empire, Russia, United Kingdom and Sweden versus the French Empire, Spain and the Polish legions. War started because Britain was already at war with Napoleon but other countries decided to join and help intervene. It led to the success of Napoleon and the French Empire. Napoleon was ever increasing in success and power and French was becoming a major power among the other European nations. The Confederation was the client states under Napoleon that helped him to gain this success and power. The Confederation of the Rhine was a confederation of client states of the first French Empire. Formed by Napoleon after he defeated Austria and Russia in the Battle of Auslitz. It was created by the Treaty of Pressburg and lasted from 1806 to 1813. The members of the Confederation were German princes from the Holy Roman Empire, later joined by 19 others, altogether ruling over 15 million people excluding Prussia and Austria. This gave Napoleon an extreme advantage on the Eastern Front of Europe, should war ever wage on the Eastern Front and created a buffer zone between France and the Eastern powers such as Prussia, Austria, and Russia. The Confederation depended on Napoleon's success in battle since a large portion of their revenue went to financing his military campaigns. Napoleon's defeat at the Battle of Leipzig led directly to the collapse of the Confederation of the Rhineland.
Horatio Nelson and the Battle of Trafalgar was between the Spanish and French versus Britain in 1807. Napoleon Bonaparte was a brilliant commander and tactician. The first Viscount Nelson, otherwise known as Horatio Nelson. He was a British flag officer in the Royal Navy with only one arm and one eye. When a combined French and Spanish fleet left the port of Toulon in order to land troops in Naples, Nelson saw his chance and sought to engage and stop them in their tracks. The experienced British fleet destroyed the Franco-Spanish fleet, winning a victory for Britain. However Nelson died due to injuries in the Battle of Trafalgar. Nelson died like a boss. When they carried him to his deathbed on the ship, he told them to stop while he scolded a sailor for handling the rigging incorrectly. Next in Napoleon's rule is the Berlin Decree. The Berlin Decree was issued in Berlin by Napoleon on the 21st of November 1806. This along with the Decree of Milan was a part of the continental system against Britain. From this came the Battle of Jena. The Berlin Decree forbade the import of British goods in European countries. The continental system was at 1806 and 1807. The continental system, in the Napoleonic Wars, the blockade designed by Napoleon to paralyze Great Britain through the destruction of British commerce. The decrees of Berlin, the 21st of November 1806, and Milan, the 17th of December 1807, proclaimed a blockade. Neutrals and French allies were not to trade with the British. In 1807 two treaties were signed by Napoleon in the town of Tylest following his victory of the Fiedland. The first treaty was signed by Napoleon and Tsar Alexander I of Russia when they met on a raft in the middle of the Neman River. The second was signed by Prussia on. Treaties were made at the expense of the Prussian king who had already agreed to a truce on June the 25th after the Grendem had pursued him deep into Eastern Prussia. The Prussian king ceded half of his pre-war territories, thus this resulted three client states. Kingdom of Westphalia, Duchy of Warsaw, and Free City of Danzig. Also in 1807 was the Orders of Council. It was a series of decrees made by the Privy Council of the United Kingdom in the course of the wars with Napoleonic France. It instituted a policy of commercial warfare. This played an important role in shaping the war effort against France, but it also caused strained relations and military conflict with neutral countries that were deeply affected by this. Close to the end of Napoleon was the Russian campaign of 1812. Napoleon wanted to invade Russia. June 43, 1812, Napoleon's Grand M crossed the Neman River in an attempt to engage and defeat the Russian army. Napoleon hoped his invasion of Russia would force Alexander I to cease trade W slash Britain thus furthering his continental system. And also liberate Poland who had previously bagged Napoleon in the coalition wars. Napoleon advanced quickly through Western Europe and defeated the Russians easily. However, the retreating Russians burnt their villages leaving Napoleon's 700,000 man army stranded in the middle of Russia with no supplies in the middle of winter. The French had to go out and scavenge for food in small troops. When they did this, troops of Russian Cossacks would surround and massacre them. Grand M was almost completely destroyed, 400,000 French casualties. The war was a decisive Russian victory. The Hundred Days was a period between Napoleon's return to France from exile on Elba to the second restoration of King Louis XVIII. This period contained War of the Seventh Coalition and includes the Waterloo Campaign. Napoleon was declared an outlaw by the Congress of Vienna. Napoleon sought to regain his previous position, but he had only a few hundred men. An army was dispatched to end his campaign, but he convinced them to join him. They screamed Vive l'Empereur. The Quadruple Alliance was formed in 1814. Signed in Paris on the 20th of November 1815 by the United Kingdom, Austria, Prussia and Russia. It sought to counter France and it promised aid to each other and the alliance functioned until 1818. The Treaty of Paris was signed on the 30th of May 1814. It ended the war between France and the Sixth Coalition, part of the Napoleonic Wars, and confirmed the abdication and exile of previous Empire Napoleon I. It also established peace between France and the United Kingdom, Russia, Austria, and Prussia. It was also signed by Spain and Portugal. Peace talks negotiated for the exiled French burden King Louis XVIII of France to return to power, but returned territory acquisitions as a price. The Peninsular War was from 1807 to 1814. It was a military conflict between Napoleon's empire and Spain versus the alliance of Britain and Portugal. Napoleon sought control of the Iberian Peninsula. It started when French and Spanish armies invaded and occupied Portugal in 1807. In 1808, 
conflict escalated when France suddenly turned on its previous ally Spain. War lasted until the Sixth Coalition defeated Napoleon in 1814. It was considered one of the first wars of national liberation significant for the emergence of large-scale guerrilla warfare. Arthur Wellesley was the first Duke of Wellington, Duke of Wellington. He was an Anglo-Irish soldier and statesman and at the Battle of Waterloo. When Napoleon came back to Europe from exile in Elba in his return campaign, the Duke of Wellington saw to it that it was short-lived at the Battle of Waterloo. Duke commanded 75,000 troops to fight Napoleon. The defeat at Waterloo ended Napoleon's rule as Empire of the French and marked the end of his hundred days return from exile. Napoleon abdicated four days later. A period of heavy rain the day before the battle sealed Napoleon's fate as he could no longer move his heavy cavalry and cannon artillery in battle, greatly crippling his forces allowing the Duke to go for the jugular. The restoration of the Bourbon monarchy was a time period following the fall of Napoleon in 1814 until the July Revolution of 1830. The brothers of the executed King Louis XVI were called back into rule but they could not reverse the changes instituted by the French Revolution and Napoleon. They hid the principle of legitimacy of their back and were welcomed back into the Congress of Vienna with open arms. They were treated respectfully but were required to return all territorial acquisitions by Napoleon I. They lost power in 1815 when Napoleon made a comeback during the Hundred Days but they took power again right when he was defeated by the Duke of Wellington. Napoleon is best known for attempting to conquer and unify Europe, which he was fairly